American textbooks were rewritten in the late 50s and early 60s to include more evolution. So that means when they transitioned to the globe, textbooks had to be rewritten back then also. They call it the Cold War Reconstruction of American Science Education. Our whole science curriculum and other curriculums were rewritten to make sure evolution was taught. And by 1963, the average textbook had 33,000 words about evolution. By 1963, prayer was taken out of our school system. Anybody remember that? Madeline Murray O'Hare? By 1963, we started to see a great rise in premarital sex for every single age bracket. We saw a great rise in uh, sexually transmitted diseases for 10 to 14 year olds. We saw a great rise in unwed birth rates a 550% increase in pregnancies. The difference is being aborted. Now, one third of all the kids born at the hospital are born to a couple that are not married. Illegitimate children, a third of them. The number of unmarried couples living together has increased radically since 1973. God's word hasn't changed. Divorce rates have gone crazy in this country. Child abuse is up 2,300%. Illegal drug use up 6,000%. Violent crimes nearly a 1,000% increase. SAT scores have plummeted since 1963. Twice in the last 40 years, they have dumbed down the test. They made the test dumber. So the scores would go back up. Teen suicide rates gone crazy. Whenever they introduced the globe, I wonder if there was any great rises in atheism and agnosticism. I wonder if people lost their faith. There must have been a bunch of people who they looked at the Bible and stopped believing the earth was flat. But why, why the big secret? People are smart. They can handle it. A person is smart. People are dumb, panicky, dangerous animals, and you know it. 1,500 years ago, everybody knew the earth was the center of the universe. 500 years ago, everybody knew the Earth was flat, and 15 minutes ago, you knew that people were alone on this planet. Imagine what you know tomorrow. Children, I think it's time we learned a little bit more about this Earth we live on. First of all, we have to change our idea that the world is flat. In truth, it is round and shaped like a ball. That's not what the Reverend told us, Miss Sarah. Well, even the Reverend doesn't know everything. <laughs> Now, children, if you start here and you go around long enough in the same direction, you wind up in the place you started from. Yes, Thomas? Why don't we fall off when we walk underneath, Miss Sarah? Because of a force called gravity. What does gravity look like? Gravity is something we can't see, but we know it's a great invisible force that keeps us all here on Earth. Some of you know what a magnet is, don't you? I yes, do. I do. Well, then let's think of it like that. Gravity could be called a kind of magnet. It's a natural force that keeps us all from flying off into space. We were always told that the world is flat. You are told right. Don't listen to her. I've been patient with you, Sarah. Lord knows I've been patient. But now your words have revealed you. The law of gravity was discovered by Sir Isaac Newton in 1687. That's almost 200 years ago, Uncle Evan. But there is only one law, the law of God. If our divine maker had meant for us to walk upside down, he would have put feet on our hands. <laughs> Children, listen to me, look around you, all around you. As far as the eye can see, the earth is flat. Now you see it that way, because that is the way the Lord intended for it to be. Anything else is heresy. But Uncle Evan, Columbus proved the world wasn't flat by sailing around it. If he was sailing upside down, the water would have emptied into the sky. Why can't you accept it? It's a proven scientific fact. Sarah, what you speak is heresy. Our divine maker intended us to walk upright, not upside down. We've had enough of the scientific nonsense of yours. School is over. <laughs>